everybody. So now we will see one more system monitoring activity which is system logs. <coughs> system logs you can you use the transaction SM21. This transaction SM21 is used to check and analyze system logs for any critical log entries. So the SAP systems logs in all the system errors warnings or user get logs or due to fail log and attempts from known users and process message in the system logs. So to check the system log you will go to SM21 and hit enter and here you can see from which date at what time you want to see the system log. Like if you want to see today's system log, you can enter the today's time or if you want to see since yesterday, you can put yesterday's date and since yesterday from 1 o'clock how many logs have been generated. So once you have defined this date and time, you need to click on read, read it system log. You can see there are so many logs appearing here, what happened, who did, what happened, okay. So everything you can view here, okay. So this system log is, which you're seeing is, uh, is from yesterday. So basically, there are two types of log in system. We call it the local logs and another one is central logs. Local logs means each SAP system application server has a local log that receives all the messages output by this server. So this system log records these messages in a circular file on the server. When this log file reaches the maximum length, the system log overwrites it starting over from the beginning. Whereas if you see in the central logs, each individual application server sends its logical log message to this server. Then the server that you designate to maintain the central log collects the messages from the other application server and writes these messages to the central log. So the central log basically consists of two files. One is the active file and old file. So this is a local logs you are seeing. So this is how you analyze the issues. If user gets any problem, you will go and check in SM21 what happened to the user. If you double click on the particular area, say for example, I will click on SAP gate was closed. I want to see why it was closed. So if you go and see, you can read all the details of the message type. The SAP gate was terminated. It is therefore not possible to establish CPIC connections. Then you have to analyze this issue more. Like maybe there is a gateway connection was closed, right? So you have to communicate with the IT infrastructure, okay? And so likewise, you will not only get this type of error, but there are other issues you might arise. Like if you, if the user gets locked, you will get the message here. You can see that user get, user is been locked. So you can go and, you know, solve the issues. So this is how you usually monitor the system logs. Hope you understand this session. Thanks. Bye.